Hello everybody, Waffle Time here. Up next on your hit list after you've slain the Eye of Cthulhu, you'll have the Brain of Cthulhu if your land was stained with crimson, or you'll have the Eater of Worlds if your land was plagued with the corruption. If your land ends up coated with corruption, dealing with this giant death worm is going to be an interesting one considering you can't quite advance your armor efficiently enough from your fight with the Eye of Cthulhu to make a difference. You can get lucky, like I did, and accidentally get an ancient shadow scale mail from a random Eater of Souls, but other than that you'll generally just use the same exact armor you did for the Eye of Cthulhu. But there's a couple secret weapons you should be utilizing, and these are the Shield of Cthulhu and the Demonite Ore that it dropped. Now, the ammo is the true key to this. We can't just use any ordinary arrow on this multi-segmented boss. What we're going to be using is Jester's Arrows. You can make these with regular arrows and fallen stars. And these are a godsend for this boss, and even the Brain of Cthulhu, on account of the fact that these arrows have the ability to penetrate through multiple enemies or segments of a boss. So, with our armor being generally unchanged from our battle with the Eye of Cthulhu, and our weapon being a well-powered bow with Jester's Arrows, all we have left to discuss is the potions, the arena, and the battle itself. The potions I used for this fight was a Wrath Potion, Endurance, Iron Skin, Regeneration, Ammo Reservation, and Swiftness, and also I had the Well-Fed buff. All of these come so strongly in handy. I love potions. I just love potions. This is a Corruption Biome exclusive boss, but can be fought at any hour of the day, so I would make sure to fight him at daytime just to avoid any accidents happening with eyes or zombies hitting you randomly during your battle. For the arena, you're going to want a multi-tiered arena made of platforms in the corruption, and for the love of god, if you have access to peace candles, make them and use them. I felt like I was on a level of doom. I felt like I was covered in honey and I had to defend myself from a whole bunch of gnats that were chasing me. God, I hate eaters of souls. Now that your arena is all done, and your armor, potions, and weapons are all squared away, you're ready to fight. You can either break three shadow orbs, which I did at first, or you could use worm food, which you can make with rotten chunks and vile powder. If you do end up breaking the orbs to summon it, make sure you have a quick way up. It's really, really easy to get caught and get stuck down there and just die. Alright, it's time to fight. You'll notice quickly that its segments are shooting high damage projectiles at you. That is what's so great about the dashing, it nulls out damage for things that you run into, so make sure to abuse the hell out of the Shield of Cthulhu. Other than that, try and shoot straight on into the Eater of Worlds, hitting multiple segments at once. I recommend trying your best not to split them into multiple pieces, but, you know, it's probably going to happen, so, you know, just try your best. The combination of the Jester's Arrows and defense granted from the Shield of Cthulhu can make some pretty damn short work of the Eater of Worlds. Just stay on top of dashing, avoiding the vile spit, and its head-on attacks. And congratulations, you have single-handedly defeated the Eater of Worlds in Master Mode. Unfortunately, that's going to be all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or tips, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.